Family members and others have been pushing for a pardon for a man named Ronald Davis. Davis was a high school senior in the late 1990s when he was convicted and sentenced to 80 years in prison for his role in a string of armed robberies in Hampton Roads. No one was hurt or killed, and Davis has served 23 years in prison. Accountability and sentencing should be fair. And now Governor Northam is changing some clemency policies. Virginia now has a website where people can monitor their pardon petition status. Brian Kennedy is the policy director of Justice Forward Virginia. His organization is part of the Virginia Redemption Project, which has sought to connect people seeking pardons with lawyers. Kennedy says applying for a pardon can be complicated and take years. And that's where the website's somewhat helpful because at least you know they got the application and someone, it's in a pile somewhere. Northam is also no longer requiring people to obtain their criminal history. Limiting that is a really common sense way that people, it increases access to the process. People don't have to pay for it. The way people go about getting it can be complicated um, just to give the governor something he's already going to be given by someone else. Northam says he's granted nearly 300 pardons so far and is on track to issue more than all previous governors combined. Part of that is due to the pandemic and concerns inmates would die from COVID in prison, but it's also part of the criminal justice system changing. And now that we know more about how people change, that recidivism rates aren't the way we think they are. Um, and just society has recognized that people who were sentenced in the late 80s and 90s were just sentenced to far too much time beyond what made sense. And in Virginia, the system is set up for people to ask the governor for a pardon. And right now in Virginia, unlike many other states, the pardon process is really the only way that someone can say, hey, the system made a mistake. Northam says there's a backlog of pardon petitions and his staff is working to review them. Kennedy says these are good steps, but says more should happen in the future. In Norfolk, Brandon Ponton, News 3.